welcome back my peeps got another cute little tutorial for valentine's we're gonna move on to valentine's um and we're gonna make a cute little cake so if you guys are wondering we made these last year so there's a tutorial for these jelly cookies if you want to know and i also did a tutorial on this cake which was made with Dollar Tree items. So you can go look for that. It's a Naked Valentine's Day cake. And that's basically all the stuff. I, I usually don't keep my fake bakes. So I got my cake board ready. You know, it's just a regular cake board. I covered with um, scrapbook paper. Put a little border around it. And that's it. So for this cake, you're going to need some of these foam rounds. I believe these are four inches and they come in different sizes um it depends on what size cake you want I like these cute little small ones so these are like three inches so you're gonna need if you want to make this size you're gonna need four of these I'll leave the link to the um, Amazon on for Amazon where you could get these there's a bunch of them coming up Oops, come in a box I believe it's like I think it was 24 pieces come in the box. So I already have mine here. And I already painted them. This was painted uh, with burnt umber. I use apple barrel burnt umber to paint these. Okay. So I'm just going to glue this down onto my cake board. I put this on the right way because you know. All right, here you go. And right, I'm going to put cream in between the layers, but I don't want it to, like when I put the next layer, I don't want it to get squashed down. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put one of these little blocks from Dollar Tree, you know the little Jenga blocks that come in a big box. It's not a big box. Sometimes you can find the big box with like 72 pieces. And sometimes you can only find the one that has like, I think it comes with maybe 40 pieces. It don't matter which one you get. But this is what I'm going to put in the middle of here. So I won't smash my icing down, okay? So I'm just going to take it, put some glue on it. And just... Press it down the middle and then make sure you get those glue webs. Um, I'm going to start putting my icing down. So for this cake, I'm using a round tip. This is tip number 2A as an apple. Okay, 2A. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to just do the dollops. Hold, hold this down. This is what I'm doing on my cake. I'm just go around. And just go all the way around. Like I hope that I did these tall enough <laughs> so that it touches my next piece. So now you're gonna take your next piece you're going to put some glue on this because you want it to glue down. Oh, this glue gun gets on my nerves. And you're just going to take it and make sure you try to uh, kind of make sure it's nice and centered. You see how that looks? Got to get those glue webs. Now you're going to take another block and put it in the middle. Like we did the first layer. And glue it down. And we are going to put the next layer. Just, we're just going to repeat this a couple of times. Until we get to the top.
Okay. Now you get your other foam round. Try to grab as many glue webs as you can. Put some glue on the piece of wood. And I'm looking because I did a I made a couple of holes on here. Like when I was painting it to hold it down. And there you go. These glue webs. These glue webs. Right? So that's looking good. That's looking good. Now you're going to do the same thing one more time. Get your little wood piece. I was only going to make it like a three layer. But I don't know. I felt like. It wasn't tall enough or something. So I just. You can make it a three layer. You don't have to do four. You make it three. You don't have to do it like me at all. And it doesn't have to be chocolate. If you want pink cake. You make a pink cake. You want a red cake. You know it's up to you. Whatever you want. However you want to do it. I'm just giving you the idea. And the how to. That's all. Right? Oh, this is starting to look so cute. So, now you're going to put your... You're going to put your last layer on here. I'm just looking at it because I didn't paint it that good. So you got to make sure you get, you paint it good so you don't see white spots and things like that. But you can always go over it later. So no big deal at all. What y'all think? That looks good, right? So I'm going to keep the top. I'm going to keep the top a little. I want this to be a simple cake, basic cake. So I'm going to keep the top. A little simple. I'm going to move these cookies out the way. Don't need that. But I do need. Hold on. I need to. um. I need a little bit of. So we're going to. On the top I'm just. I got some. Fake strawberries. And some fake blueberries. And I'm just. That's all I'm going to put on the top. I'm not trying to make it too. Like busy or fancy or anything like that. I'm gonna like fix my my bag because the icing. Gotta make sure I get all of that. So I'm just gonna do like this. I should have just made drips like how I did that one. Hold on. I'm taking it off because I don't like it. So far, I do not like it. So, I should have just went with what I was doing at the... But you know, you know how I go. Just take that off real quick. And uh, let's just go with the dots like how I had did the other layers, okay? And we're just going to fill the whole thing up with just dots. This is the easiest cake ever. No swirling. You don't do no swirling or none of that. You just squeeze your little circle. Boom. There you go, y'all. There you go. So now, like I said, I'm just going to keep it simple. And I'm just going to, now, to arrange the fruit. You can dip, ugh, I messed up, listen. You can dip these in the fake chocolate like we did last year if you want. But I'm not going to do that. I'm just, like, seriously, I just want to keep it, like, really, like, a basic, just a plain dessert with some fruit on it. I don't even know if I want to put two strawberries or one. Hmm. See, this is what happens when you don't really plan 
your design out too much. But okay, I think that's gonna be good. Then I'm gonna stick some some blueberries in there like that. I got these blueberries from Michaels a couple years ago. They usually put them out for the spring, so be on the lookout. Put another one there. Um, if they put them out this year, should I put some over there or spread it? No, I don't make. And then I got some. I got a piece of a leaf type flower. I'm gonna try to put some greenery up in there. Help me with this, y'all, because y'all know I am not, like, the best at this crap. <laughs> I'm sorry, but let's put some greenery right there. And I'm going to put another one going. Well, I don't like that one, though. And, uh, oh, wait, I'm about to cut myself. Let's see. I don't know if I wanted to go this way or that way. <sighs> this is what I mean, y'all. I'm not, I just hate like doing too much. You know what I mean? I just really hate doing too much. Should I just leave it like that? Maybe I could put some more fruit going around like this. Let's put some blueberries going around like that. some more greenery over this way it's like the strawberries already have greenery right what 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 bro listen i thought i had this oh my god i didn't even i'm sorry guys i didn't record the... i thought i was recording the top but all you're going to do is squeeze the circles around like how we did the other tiers. And then you're going to put some fruit on there. You know, I'm going to throw some diamond dust on there because, you know, we have to. Like, if you wanted to put a drip on it, you can. I'm not going to put a drip on mine. Because I don't want, I kind of, I really wanted it to be like a really, um, like a basic cake. Put in my fine glitter on it. Oh, I like this cake. It came out pretty cute. So, guys, this is our cake. Isn't it so cute? You don't have to put it on the cake board if you don't want to. You could just leave it like that without putting it on the cake board. But I always do. But I think I might take it off after it dries. But there you go. Look at the top. It got fruit on it. It got some greenery. What you think? I think this came out pretty cute. And it's so easy and simple and fast to make. You can make a ton of these. Sell them in your Etsy shop. Do whatever. You know, make it for your friends, family. Keep it up for your tear tray. I'm going to add it to my cake selection over here. You can put little hearts on it if you want. I didn't put any hearts. I should have put some hearts on it. I might put some hearts on it. But if you don't put hearts on it, you could keep it on display all year long. Because it's just a basic cake with fruit on it. So, you know, if you want to do that, you can do that. You do it how you want to do it. So, guys, <coughs> excuse me. We're going to make a couple more valentine designs you know um valentine's come by so fast so we're gonna make a couple more but i definitely had this one on my mind for a while and i figured i'll save it for valentine's because you know sweets and all that good stuff but guys if you like what i'm doing on my channel you want to support me i at um youtube finally gave me uh access to the join button where you can subscribe to this channel for a small fee it helps support my channel so I can keep on creating things like this. So I can buy craft supplies and, you know, just 
keep on doing what I'm doing. It's a very small amount. It's a monthly fee that you would pay to support my channel. And I would really appreciate it if you guys could do that for me. And if you can't make a monthly payment, if you would like to thank me, you could just hit the thank button and make, you know, a small donation to my channel. And that will really help me. And I appreciate you guys so much. And I thank you all for watching and supporting my channel. And I hope you like this yummy looking cake. Because it does look yummy. Look at that. Look. Mm -mm -mm. Go and make you one. Tag me on Facebook if you're on Facebook. And let me see what you done did. And until the next video, I will talk to you guys real soon. Stay safe, stay healthy, and keep crafting, and go make you one of these. God bless you guys. Bye.